Sebastian Hessler, Neuroelectronics Research, Flanders. Nanotechnology for better research, diagnosis and treatment of brain disorders. All right, hi. Um, probably everyone of you knows uh, people with brain disease, and these are just a few of them. And from John Forbes Nash, uh, known for his um, contribution to game theory and his beautiful mind, to historical figures like Vincent van Gogh, there's a lot of problems that can arise if you have uh, a problem with your brain. And diseases include the, the psychiatric disorders, but also um, neurodegenerative disorders. Now, uh, besides the suffering that individuals have and the large burden to families, uh, there's also a whopping cost of about 800 billion uh, euros alone in Europe um, for, for brain diseases, which is actually more than cardiovascular, diabetes, and uh, cancer together. So it's clear we need to do something, but the problem is you know, how do you find a drug for that thing if actually most of the time you study that thing, and sometimes even worse, just that. And um, so, not surprisingly, uh, we've been not very good at um, finding drugs for CNS disorders um, compared to other um, disease areas, so it's much, uh, much uh, worse. So, um, why is that? And to, take, to understand that problem, I think we need to take a little bit of closer look at um, what's, what's going on. And so when a patient sees a doctor, they, it's not because they notice something wrong about their body, but it's actually something is wrong about their behaviors, how they interact with the environment. And um, behavior is actually comes, uh, is computed uh, from, in, in the neural circuits of the brain. And uh, on the other hand, the drug discovery, Typically, what we're looking at is you know, stuff that happens uh, at the genes, proteins, and synapses level. And so somehow we're trying to jump from proteins to behavior, and I think that just cannot work. And uh, so I, we believe that unless you understand what's going on in neural circuits, you will not be able to really uh, make big progress there. And so we address this challenge uh, uh, with uh, nanotechnology, where we build devices that allow us to sense and manipulate the brain with much higher precision than can be done today. We also add and uh, implement new functionalities, such as the one on the left, which has uh, some blue light coming out for uh, optogenetics application. And we also push, really, the, the channel counts um, that are possible with these devices. Well, shit. Uh, okay. And so this is an example of a recent project. Uh, this is a 120 channels uh, recorded in an awake behaving animal while it's seeing something. Each line is a channel, and these colorful things are essentially neurons, and uh, when you do some kind of computational analysis, you can essentially extract from that a very precise image of what's going on in the brain <coughs> with, uh, um, with extracellular recordings. This is a project that's a consortium uh, led by HHMI and together with these other people, and we're um, cu currently testing this um, device in animal models of disease, including Alzheimer's and uh, Parkinson's models. Thank you.